hello again class 3 i hope you are all doing great so today we'll start to continue our previous lesson and we have lesson 3 uh, in uh, unit 13 on my book the page number is 98 but maybe the page number is different on your book so please try to find out this song on the class book and the title is my birthday okay pay attention about the title it's my birthday and here in this song uh two different types of uh, past simple ha have used and they are past simple be and past simple uh, with the regular verbs so first of all we will listen to the audio to get the pronunciation and uh, please try to think the song uh, when you listen to the song i mean and uh, later i'll read it for you and i'll highlight the different types of the past simple sentence so now let's listen to the audio together listening 106 Listen and sing. My birthday. It was my birthday yesterday. I didn't shop or cook. I opened lots of birthday cards and started a good book. It was my birthday yesterday. My day was really great. So now, dear students, please pay attention because I would like to read and explain the song for you and it will be like a quick review about our previous lesson at the same time. And do you remember previously we learned about past simple with the regular verbs? Do you remember? So now, let me read it for you. And here this is the song and the title is My Birthday. It was my birthday yesterday. I didn't shop or cook. I opened lots of birthday cards and started a good book. I was my birthday yesterday. My day was really great. Lots of friends came round for tea. We finished all the cake. It was my birthday yesterday. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I had a party with my friends. We sang and played. So now pay attention, please, dear students. Uh, as you see, I have used two different colors. I have used blue color with green color. And I colored those sentences which they have written with past simple B uh, by blue color. Uh, and I used green color to color those sentences, which is we can find out them uh, regular verbs or the regular verbs. You see? So, gulak animin. Awani kabarangi shin highlight em kurdun. Aw sentence ane bapas simple bi nusraun. Basha? Why? Bochi. Biaberu chi mani. We have subject and we have verb to be in the past tense and there are was and were. Biaberu chi mani was mani. Kaat amana pas simple. Uh, bin both ten senus round. Basha, ya could both type and us round. Balam, Amanika Rankanian Sauzak, Amababati Pia Shumana, Chin, they are uh, past simple sentences with regular verbs. It means you can find out them regular verbs. See, I got it. I'm sentenced and room can only I didn't shop or cook, so didn't is uh, this sentence a negative sentence. We have didn't and we have the verb. Because we put it didn't to negate this sentence, so at this time we remove the makeup. It means we remove ed. So this one I open. You see, we have subject and open. We have ed on this verb, so open is one of the regular verbs. Uh, and started. Started also is one of the regular verbs. At what my birthday yesterday. So this sentence is repeated again, and it is past simple sentence. My dad was uh, sorry. My day was really great. So this sentence also is uh, written with past simple. Be or uh, because we have verb to be was. We finished all the cake. So finished also is one of the uh, regular verbs. And the last sentence says we sang and played. So played is also is one of the regular verbs because we added ed uh, on it to change if, to change it from the base form to the Pass form. What is the base form? We are going to pass form. We are going to add ed. Well, I'm doing verb. Can we rush underline them? Kurdun. I'm doing verb. They are irregular verbs. Do you remember we talked about irregular verbs? But man, irregular verbs. I'm going to cut the angorin by pass form. Not one in ed. I could even buy a can shape. Okay, but I'll take a gore. Can I verb? 
كيم كل بيس فورم كي تشي كما سي او ام اي ابيبا كيم كي كيم باس فورم و فيربي سينغ از اي ان جي كا بيس فورم كا ايكورين بو باس فورم ابيبا سانغ يو سي سو ذيس تو سنتنس ذي ار irregular verbs what are irregular and what are not when the regular can any idea ya khudi o bian gorin bo pas for um okay so that's all about this song and let me tell you something else about this song as well sorry you must rewrite this song on your notebooks please try to rewrite it on your on your notebooks and try to sing it uh, as much as you can okay and if you have the series ho uh, at home like me you can listen to the audio and you can uh, sing the song at the same time Okay, so now let's move to the uh, next page, which is page 99 on my book, and we have lesson four, and it's about phonics. Okay, dear students, please pay attention on lesson four, which is about phonics. So today uh, we're gonna learn about uh, long vowel sound. Oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna teach you how can you recognize this sound in the words. So we can get a uh, long vowel sound O uh, through this. Uh, three keys or the three patterns. It means Gulimen em atwanin long vowel sound o man levu shakana desk kya khud au danga bna sinawa la regi am se patterno am se kli lawa amane wo ku kli one. They are like symbols. Wo ku he mak one bo em em atwanin au shaya wa bkhwin lawa kadangi long vowel sound o itia. دربخين چون که اما چی تیرش مانه شورد واو ساون آش مانه باشا گولی من هر که اتیگه تنیج لترکه و ام دو نکته هبو واتا او او دنگا چیه برزه اوکی گولی من واتا او دنگا چیه لانگا یا خود برزه so through o w or o a or o e you can get this sound or you can recognize this sound in the word so if you pay attention here we have snow elbow because we have O, which is followed by W, so at this time this O will will be a uh, long sound, okay? Or uh, it has long sound because we have O W. So snow, elbow. You have to read it in this way. Snow, elbow. You can't say. You can't pronounce shortly. You can't say snow, snow, nop. You have to make a long. You have to say snow, elbow. And another pattern we have O A. When we have O and which is followed with another vowel sound which is A, at this time this O will be long. You have to read these uh, words in this way. It will be coat soap. Coat soap. You see? Snow, elbow, coat, and soap. And another pattern, which is the last pattern we ha when we have O. And when, after that, uh, when we have uh, one of the consonant sound, then we have magic E at the end. So, these two words, you can find out them O, and at the end, or they end with uh, magic E. So, at this time, this O it will be long vowel sound O. So, you have to read these words in this way. It will be nose stone. Okay? Nose stone. Uh, another example for this pattern like bone, okay, bone. So let me read the words again. Snow, elbow, coat, soap, nose, and stone. Women, what the Emma at one in am dangi oya benasi no ka adangi ki dreju berzi hea kate ka amse klila man habu kate ka amse pachar na man habu. Okay, that's all about long vowel sound. Oh, and it actually, it's very easy. After that, if you come down here, we have this chan, and it says read the chan again. Circle the words with O W O A and O E. So you have to read the chan very well, and then you have to draw a circle around those words, which is you can find out them uh, long vowel sound O during or through these three uh, patterns or three keys. Okay, so I put on my coat and go out in the snow. There is snow on my nose and on my elbow. You see? So, please try to do this exercise. And after that, circle the odd one out. Here we have this exercise and we have four words. One of them is uh, the odd one. For example, look at number one. Snow, so, show, slow. 
If you see, we have OW, 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 but here in this word, so we have OA, so this one is the odd one. Number two, home, bone, snow, and stone. If you pay attention, we have OE, O with magic E, O with magic E, O with magic E, so we have OW in this word, which is snow, and so snow uh, will be the odd one. You have to draw a circle around it. Number three, we have so, rope, coat, and boat. So in this word, so we have OA, coat, also we have OA, in boat, also we have OA. So rope will be the O one. Number four, boat, coat, goat, and bone. We have OA, 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 but on this word, we have O with magic E, so this word will be the odd one. Okay, so after that, we have this exercise, and actually I did it too. So it says, write the words in the correct box. Here we have three boxes, and we have these words, so you have to return each word into uh, the correct box. And we have OW key, we have OA key, and we have OE key. We have the three keys to get long vowel sound O. As I told you, through these patterns, you can get this sound. So, the first word we have show. So, in this word, we have OW. So, you have to write it down on this box. Home, we have OE. You must put it there. Boat, we have OA. So, you have to write down here in this box. Slow, we have OW again. Code, we have OA. Those, you must write down in this box because we have O with magic E. Goat, also we have OA again. And bond, we have OE. And snow, we have OW. Pay attention. Look, I did a mistake. So please try, do not do any mistake. Okay? So that's all about long vowel sound. Oh, now let us move to the next page. Oh, class three, please pay attention. After that, we have lesson five, and it is about reading skill. Okay? So as usual, we have some new vocabularies, and actually, these words, they are opposites. Okay, and they are heavy and light. These two words are opposite. Hard and soft, also they are opposite. Easy and difficult, also they are opposite. So let me tell you the, their meanings. Heavy, it means quiz. Light, it means suk. How can you use them in a sentence? For example, I can lift the cupboard because it's very heavy. Okay, uh, or uh, wow, the paper is so light, uh, so it can fly, for example. Hard, the chair is so hard, or uh, the stone is so hard, for example. Sofa, oh, we bought a sofa and it's so soft. I have a, uh, for example, I have a scarf and it's so soft. And what about easy and difficult? Actually, you can use these two words when you want to tell about your exam, your lesson, something like that. For example, uh, the lesson is very easy or the lesson was very difficult or we did an exam and it was really easy or our previous exam was so difficult, something like that. We mean, how many times the exam alone, the exam is so hard. No, hard level exam because usually you have to use these two words, easy and difficult. As simple as easy, if it's easy, it's easy, but it's easy, but it's easy, but Okay, so heavy, light, they are opposite, as I told you. Hard, soft, easy, and difficult. So these are the words. And after that, we have this text. And it is about uh, papyrus. Okay. Gulimin papyrus. Jorek lachia. It's a type of plant. Jorek la ruaka. Wakti khoi la kati kona. Pej away. Kaka khazdruz. Be misri kona kan. Am jora plantan bakar henawa. Bo away kachi la sabnusin. Bo away. هي مكاني لسبب نوسن ياخو نوسن ياكاني عن لسبب نوسن هاند رايتين ياكاني خوان وبهمان شيوها نيكات بود روزبوني روب واتا قريز بكاري عن هنا او باشا دوائيك خوان من تي اجي كاخز لتشو شيكا وحاتوا وچون مصر كونا كان بيشتر امان بكار هنا او بو اويكا بتوانن لجان روجانا انا او بابتانا كانا ويخو او هي مانا كانا ويلا ساري بينوسن او اوكي قولي من با ناو وي ويل لسن تو دي اوريو تو جيه دي پرونانسيشن ان لتر ايل اكسبلين فو يو Paragraph by paragraph. Okay, so now let's listen to the audio. Listening 110. Listen and read. 5,000 years ago, there was no paper. 
People used clay tablets to write on. They used a reed to write on the wet clay. Then they waited for the clay to dry. The tablets were very heavy. They were easy to break. People used each tablet only one time. The ancient Egyptians wanted to make paper to write on. Three thousand years ago, there were lots of papyrus plants in Egypt. The ancient Egyptians used papyrus to make a kind of paper. It was difficult to make, but it was soft and light and easy to write on. People in other countries started to use papyrus too, but papyrus was very expensive. Only rich people used it. Sometimes people used the papyrus, then washed it and used it again. So now, dear students,、uh, I would like to read the text and explain it for you. As I told you, the title is papyrus, and the papyrus is a type of Uh, plan and actually、uh, in the old age the ancient Egyptians used this type of plant and they wanted to make a paper from it. Okay, so the first paragraph says five thousand years ago there was no paper. What a pinch has our salpish is that he jora kachzek nebo. People used clay tablets to write on. خالق کن چیم با کرنا کلی تبلتس گلیم این کلی ات میس کور تبلتس ات میس پارچا. وقت پارچا کوری کیم با کره نا. باشه گلیم این کوری انگار تو تو او کو پارچه پارچی چارگوش چارگوش اند کرو کو بار دیکیپ چو کو تبلت دیکیپ چو باشه تو رایت آن باید لسریم نوشن. They used a reed to write on the wet clay. چی هم با کره نوا خو قلم نبوا یا خو جافو آن نبوا. They used reed. Reed واتا قامیش. گلیم این قامیشش هر جورا پلانت یا کل ناو زرکاوش تا کنه آرود. To write on the wet clay. با اولی لسر قرا تراکا بینوسن لرگی بکار نانی او ریدوات او قامیشا. Then they waited for the clay to dry. دوی ام پارچا کلی ام پارچا خورا کلا سریع نوسی. اونجا آوان چون نوسی ویانا. خو کو نوسی نی است نبا کو هاند رایتی نی است. آوان هیروگلیفیک رایتی نیم بکار هنر. آو جوری کلا جوری نوسی نی کنه. مصری کنه کام بشه وی هماو و نکشانو آوان بکار هنر. آو. Okay. آو کو اس الف بی نبوا. یا خو ای بی سی دی نبوا. So, وکارن دو اولی که بابت کنی نوسی و اولی که ویستوانه دانه ها تا کوشک بیت آ، OK؟ The tablets were very heavy. بله، آن دو قرص من بله. اما از این کل کلی is very heavy. لبرو قر خوی قرصه. باشه گلیم. They were easy to break. So با آسانی اشکان. Huh? Easy to break. What? Asan bush can't do. I'm not asan yet. Can people used each tablet only one time? I'm not telling you. Just by carrying hand. Hey now. When we are going to get to an end, we have to carry the sermons. We have to carry the sermons. Then now we have to do it. Then we have to carry the sermons. Then now we have to do it. 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 The ancient Egyptians wanted to make paper to write on. کاتم مصر کنگان هاتن بیان لشته کرد. چون امن ها به اما هر کلی تبلت بکار بین نو لمشون با آشن حالی گریم بشه کاتم به بیر کنوا کتی درس کن پیپر درس کن کاخس. Three thousand years ago, با تسه هزار سال پیش است. ها اگو ما بکار هنوا. You see, و اتلا مبر. There were lots of papyrus plants in Egypt. و ات لم جوری رواکا کنایه چی پاپیروسه لایجپت زور بوده لولاتی مثل. So the ancient Egyptians used papyrus to make kind of paper. ام جور رواکا هم بکار نبود جوری گل جوری که خز درست بکن. It was difficult to make که زور قرص بود درست کردنی که خز ل پاپیروس. But it was soft and light. ولی ام زور نرمو سوک بوده. ما بستیه و آو جور که خز زور نرم بوده سوکیش بوده. The light and soft. ها آور دانی کلا سر آخرین من. They are used here in this paragraph. And easy to write on was zor asan bo boi lasari binusin. Agar pirshte bir be tolak paragraph yek maut man chi bo. It was difficult to write on it. Balam amena lech na. Ale those papers they were easy to write on. Wata asan bo bakar hena na ya khu lasari lasari binusin. So the 
Last paragraph says, people in other countries, what the hell are you talking about? Can you see started to use papyrus? But how much is it? And before can you papyrus and back then to make a kind of paper? But papyrus was very expensive. But I'm a zor chibu. Grand bu so expensive. What the ruin? How can you zor grand bu? Opposite of expensive, chia. Who knows? It's cheap. So the clay was cheap, but Papyrus was very expensive. What a papyrus? Grand bo la ro nirkhaw. Only rich people use it. Then ha qalka dawla mana kan tuani wana am jorat planta ba karben am jorat ka kaish papyrusa. So sometimes people use the papyrus. Ha nek jar ba kana hena then wash it and use it again. Do I sure do ana tau jar ekitir ba karian hena tau ku clay tablet ka na bu ka tan ha bo ek jar ba kana ha. Uh -huh. People used each uh, tablet only one time. Well, I'm not, I'm actually a wallet. Yeah, they used the papyrus, then washed it and used it again. What a jarek it is short down to Bakarian and out all. So I'm a set attack about Rusbuni Kahas. Oh, Kahas, aka Emma Esther Rojana. She let Serena Sinaho Kitabila Drusbua, who after Rila Drusbua. I'm a set attack. Well, I'm a me Esther, the papyrus, Drus Nabamikas. I'm a set, Emma Stila Serena Sin, La Dardrus Abe Gulliman. Masha? So here we have this orange circle and it's very important. Here there's a question. Do you know? So now, do you know the word paper? We say paper, SM appealing paper in English, what comes from the word papyrus. What a low shape papyrus or hat. We say paper, it comes from this word papyrus. Gulliman papyrus, navy, drachta kabu, nahu navy, ruaka kabu, bubbly, sorry, not dracht, ruaka kabu, planta kabu. گرایوا و او به سر زمان آسان تر بیاید که دقت بیم و شی پاپارس توزه قرص است. So how difficult when you want to pronounce this word. So they change to this word which is paper. ام اصلا جنگ رو جانم نه با کاری این این انگلیس لغت. So that's all about this text. Okay. So we have this exercise about this text that we learned, and here we have these sentences. Uh, in each sentence, there's a space. You have to return these words into the spaces, and it's independent on their meanings. So the first sentence says, "Clay tablets were heavy. Clay tablets were space to break, were easy to break. Papyrus was very to make, was very difficult. So easy and difficult, they are opposites. Papyrus wasn't heavy." It was light, so heavy and light. They are opposites. Papyrus was soft. It was very uh, sorry. It was easy to write on. Papyrus was soft. It was easy to write on. You see, soft. Soft. Apostrophe chibu hard. What a rock. Rockuner. Number six. Only rich people use papyrus. It was expensive. So expensive, as I told you, it means gran what a and cheap, C H E A P, it means, let me write down for you. So, C H E A P, it means herzan. So, expensive and cheap, they are opposites. Okay? And that's about lesson five reading skill. So, at home, you can read it. Okay? Try to read it very well. After that, we have page 101 on my book, and we have lesson. So, dear students, on lesson six, we have listening skill, and it says listen and write the numbers. We have four pictures, so now I'll play the audio for you to listen, and then you have to uh, remember from one till four, because we have four pictures. So now listen to the audio, please. Listening 111. Listen and write the numbers. Number one. Hello, Tom. How are you? Not great. I had a terrible day yesterday. Why? Well, I had a maths lesson in the morning. The questions were very difficult and I didn't know the answers. Oh dear. Number two. I had an English lesson in the afternoon. That's good. You like English. Yes, but I didn't have my homework. So the teacher was angry. Oh, no. Number three. I played basketball with my friends in the park after school. That's nice. It was nice, 
But then it started to rain. I was very wet and very cold. Oh, no. Number four. I had lots of difficult homework yesterday, too. Oh, no. So I worked for three hours. Poor Tom. We have writing preparation and it says remember. Okay, remember, it means labirinth. In each paragraph, there is one topic. So now we should learn what does it mean topic. So topic, it means babat. Guliman, topic, wata babat. In each paragraph, there is one topic. It means wata lahar paragrafika. Topic ki taibati hai. Ya khubab lahar paragrafik der pari topikika. Wata babatika. Guliman. For example, if we have a text and it contains three or four paragraphs, so at this time each paragraph has got its own uh, special topic. What again? Bon, when I'm a text, take my level two paragraph, page by page. It's number paragraph. I can have change. Be. A be her paragraph. It's the body. Baba take. Topic. It's the body. You have. What the body? Stick. Sabka. The body. Here we have these four paragraphs. So now let me read them one by one. The first paragraph says, The ancient Egyptians lived in Egypt thousands of years ago. They had lots of different jobs. Jobs. You see? A lot of ancient Egyptians were farmers. Farmers, it means Bahawan. But there were teachers. Teachers, what a mamostashan habwa. Artists, what a hunarman. And writers, what a nusser. Writers too. I get the cut being never away. And paragraph. I'm a job at an ishek, a cat farmer, teacher, artist, and writers. So we can recognize that the topic in this paragraph is about jobs. What a topic a kebab at a kederbari? She had jobs. So what a ish. Kalera had to in them to her topic. I can my hobs are to carry your jobs. What a ish. Next one. They lived in a small houses. Sorry, they lived in small houses. They uh, the houses had kitchens, living rooms, and bedrooms. The houses had kitchens, living rooms, and bedrooms. So we have these places: houses, kitchens, uh, living rooms, and bedrooms. So here, let's do the correct topic. Houses, it is about houses or children or food. Job ama hama bajar tu kotai behat. Lems yani kama. It is about houses, children or food. Is there any word about food? Hij basi khwar ni tiabu ju shayder bari khwar na. Is there any word about children? No. So it is about houses. At this time, you must write down houses. Okay? H O U S, then E S. It's the plural noun. So, C, or the next paragraph, the children walked with their parents and helped at home. Children in ancient Egypt had toys and they played lots of games. So, it starts with the, this word, the children. Or how they played games. So, this paragraph is about children or, we did this one as well, children or food. Is there any word about food? No. So, it is about children. Wata darbari mandala. Okay. The last paragraph uh, has written, the ancient Egyptians cooked lots of good food. So, we have this word, food. They cooked rice, wata brunch. Bread, what a nanny shan druskurdua nan cook nakre. Basha, bake a cre. Bake, it means they bake bread. Bread. Uh, meat and fish, what a goes to massish. So, if you pay attention, if you focus on the words in this paragraph, you have rice, bread, meat, and fish. And there are all of them, they are about food. So, the topic is food. Uh, it means this paragraph is about food. Or it tells us information about food. So that's about topic. Guli minwata, babataka, chia, to a bit, diari bkait. Siri ka agar ama, hamui text tek de, chwar paragraph pek atu, har paragraph ek, basi topic eki jiazi ek. Paragraph yakam, it was about jobs, next one, houses, then children, after that, or finally, or the final paragraph was about food. So that's all about 
uh, topic. Guliman, bam shiawea, yunti uh, 13, wati yunti siyanza man taakir, la ser klas, buka kaman, bama shiosa grammarish mi man taakir bu. Sakati tia, who knows? It's time to give you uh, some homeworks on the workbooks. So please move to the workbooks. So, dear students, please move to page 98. Page 98 is homework. And also page 99. Okay, here we have these exercises. And it is about lesson for phonics. And page 98 is about the song. Grammar and the song. And actually, all of the exercises are very easy. That's why I'm not going to explain them for you. Uh, you have to read the questions very well. Then you have to answer the questions or the exercises. After page 99, please move to page 100. Page 100 also uh, is homework. It's about lesson 5. Uh, the text that we learned before, the papyrus. And page 101 as well is Homework, or it will be your homework. It's about a uh, topic. Okay? So, let me repeat them, the page numbers. Page 98, 99, 100, and 101. Okay? Uh, and that's all about your homeworks. Guliman, he wants to ask you, Dalem Babati, Amro, where did you get the text? Oh, text, take a basi. دروز بونی که خز یک دیا خوشی پیپل لوشی پاپای رسا حتی او زوزو گرنگا اکشل ایسا نیو انفرمیشن فو یو ان فو می تو او با منی زنی رکی تازه بو بلیو می هر ایو سود دنلم بابتا نبینی منیش سود دم نبینی بجی زمانی انگلیزی بجی فاملی ان فرنس بوک و بجی ایوش ایوش هست سر کوتو بن باشا گولی من یوان بایا مو اکسرسازا گاند کن و لکومنت بوم دا بنین بوی بزانم راست دیا خود حالی بس تکایا گولا کانی من زور جوان کوشتنا که بخوین نو احسانه که علا چی ما چنشتی بکن که با اکسی او به پیچانه او به اوکی؟ so that's all I love you all don't forget that همیشه بیرد به مو تانم زور زور خوشه به و زور زوریش بیرتانه کم believe me یوان بایا زور خودنگا بکره تو بوی بتان بینم و اوکو بلنم پیا بون یک تر ببینی نوا یک سر آیس کریمی خوش دام باکرم با هر دو کلاس دگه اوکی دیو رمیمبر بن ای پرومس دیو بلنم پیا نوتم اگر به هر حد پیا جوی خوندنگه کتایی پیا بید لبوری اوکات دنیا گرمه بید آیس کریم تان با اهنم با همان شیولا سر وعدو بلنکی خومم که قطاب خانه کرایه با یکم شد یک سر چیه هنین آیس کریم هنین بیا کوی خوی نکلاس اوکی سو Uh, that's all and have a nice time. Bye-bye.